Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Lisa's Paper Passion. Another swap in a group for loaded envelopes galore. Um, this one is actually not a loaded envelope. It's a wand and paper, um, not paper clip, but wand and clip swap, which of course is on based on a paper clip. But I wanted to show you how it. I packaged it. This is ready to ship out to my partner, um, Wanda Ortiz. Um, Wanda, I'm going to load this after you receive it. That way... Um, you don't get a sneak peek of it. So anyway, um, this was again in a, um, Anna's group, Loaded Envelopes Galore, and she thought it would be fun to set up a swap for um, for wands and clips. So let me go ahead and show you. Sorry, my camera's kind of switching. Okay. Hopefully that's better. I don't know why it's acting kind of funky, but hopefully you could see it okay. So let me go ahead and show you um, what I made. Um, first of all, the package that this comes into is a recycled Xyron box. Um, it, it's a really sturdy box, and I didn't want to throw it out. And I thought it would be perfect for something. I didn't know what I was going to use it at the time. And then when I started assembling the goodies that I was going to send out to Wanda, this was right next to me, and I thought it would be perfect for packaging the wands and the clips. So this is um, what I put everything in. Uh, this is some paper that I had in my stash, and this trim is from Trezor's Deluxe. And a flower I bought in a D-stash, so it just became a pretty little box to store everything in. So I'll put that aside. Um, I might have shown this suitcase to you before. I'm not sure, but this is the Sizzix die suitcase. And what better way to package clips um, than a little tiny suitcase? So this is um, what I put everything in. It came out so cute. Again, I didn't know what I was going to use this for, but that's what I do. A lot of times I create things and then um, find, you know, useful purposes for them, in this case, for swap. So we were, I think we were supposed to do three wands and three clips, but I always go above and beyond. So these are the clips that that I made. I'm trying to make it focus. Okay, so I just put them on these little um, little cards from Prima. So that's two. This is four. I love these sequined bows. Little coffee cup wood wood piece from Prima. And then this is some charms that I bought from Yolanda on uh, I think So Crafty on YouTube. And I made clips out of them. I think they came out cute too. And this is a little um, cushioned candy. This is from Daiso that I bought a long time ago. And then one of my favorite clips. It's a little glitter chipboard piece with glasses. This was um, popular on Facebook when I posted it. So this is all packaged to go in a little suitcase. And then my wands. Let me put this away real quick. So that's the front and back. Kind of looks the same. And then here are the ones that I made. I made four for her. And I pa each of them need to be packaged um, really pretty. So I packaged them each in a cellophane bag. And these bags I got from Daiso. Actually, the bigger ones are from Daiso. They're the, these bags from Daiso. And then the smaller ones are from Michael's, I believe. But I like, this is, well, they're all my favorite because, you know, they're my creations. But I like this one because it's a little coffee cup and it has a hanging tassel from it. So that was really, that was really fun to do. So that's one. And then this wand packaged this way is one of my fold and cut dies from Sizzix, which I love. And then that's the other side. I try to make it two dimensional that way. Um, however, she uses it, she can enjoy it from both sides. And this is number three. It's one of my favorite all time die cuts from Sizzix. And it's the dress form die. I know it's kind of hard to see through the plastic, but I wanted to show you the final packaging as I'm mailing it out. And then here's a um, shabby rosette with a bling center. We had to use at least three different embellishments on each one. So that's what I did. This is a bow. This is the Anna Griffin die. If you guys have any questions about anything I use, please ask me. I try to kind of remember. I don't want to make the videos too long. Um, yet, you know, if you have any specific questions, I do want to answer it. This is a Prima flower already made. The other side is just a heart. And this paper 
is a recollections paper pad. So anyway, so that goes packaged back in there. Thank you for stopping by. If you have any questions, I'm putting this upside down, about anything I've created, please let me know. And I hope I inspired you to go and make your own crafty things. God bless and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.